One actor who made a big impact in movies was known for his ability to play many different roles. He once acted as eight different characters in just one movie. This showed how skilled and adaptable he was as an actor. Even though he's not talked about as much now, his work still inspires actors and filmmakers today. Do you have a special memory or experience related to this famous actor? Share your stories below and keep watching for more interesting facts about him. A talented actor, born in 1914, left an unforgettable imprint on both stage and screen with remarkable versatility. His performances garnered praise for seamlessly embodying a wide range of characters. Beyond the diverse roles, he not only showcased skill, but also breathed life into each character. In a time dominated by his craft, this actor became a cinematic luminary, excelling in drama and comedy alike. From the enigmatic figure in a beloved space saga to a nuanced portrayal in a spy thriller, he proved mastery in his art. His influence extended beyond the screen, shaping the way stories were told. He set a path for future actors, creating a lasting impact that stands the test of time. Connecting with audiences and giving characters depth, he became a trailblazer. With exceptional talent and timeless performances, this figure deserves celebration for shaping cinema and leaving an enduring legacy. In the movie The Bridge on the River Kwai, he played Colonel Nicholson really well, making a strong impression on the audience. However, there was a little mistake in the credits where his last name had a typo with just one in luckily, they fixed it later to give him the right credit. Apart from his role in The Bridge on the River Kwai, he also acted as Prince Albert in The Swan, showing his acting skills in different types of roles. Interestingly, Alec Guinness and Estelle Winwood, who acted together in The Swan, worked together again in the interesting movie, Murder by Death. If we look into his background, we find out that his mom, Agnes Cuff, played a big part in his early years. His dad, thought to be Andrew Geddes, a Scottish banker, paid for his education at Fetz College, a fancy private school. This good education surely helped him succeed in acting later on. Alec Guinness's career has more to it than just these famous roles, and people still love his work. He has left a strong impact on movie lovers worldwide. After winning a two-year scholarship from a dramatic academy, he was offered a role in John Gielgud's production of Hamlet in 1934. Joining the Royal Navy as an ordinary seaman in 1941, he was commissioned 12 months later. In the film The Bridge on the River Kwai, he portrayed Colonel Nicholson. Initially, Charles Lawton was considered for the role, but he declined, citing a lack of understanding of the character's motivations. Lawton later acknowledged Guinness' performance as Nicholson, which helped him comprehend the role better. Renowned for his reserved nature, the actor had a strong dislike for fans requesting his autograph, viewing it as an intrusion into his personal space. This reflected his guarded attitude towards privacy. In the River War movie, he took on the role of Colonel Nicholson after another actor turned it down. The script, initially meant for someone else, went through various casting considerations. Despite his initial reluctance, he ultimately accepted the pivotal role. In the famous space movie, he played the character Ben Obi Wan Kenobi. Initially hesitant to accept a deal based on the movie's success due to past failures, he eventually agreed to a percentage deal. The director acknowledged his contribution by adding a bonus percentage just before the movie's release, resulting in a significant windfall for him. These instances shed light on his professional decisions and the negotiations he encountered during his remarkable career. In the realm of cinema, certain individuals leave an unmistakable imprint, not only through their performances, but also through their personal journey within the industry. One such figure embarked on a path marked by recognition, diverse roles, and unique preferences, shaping the landscape of film in profound ways. Amidst the hustle and bustle of filming, this individual stumbled upon a script that would change the course of cinematic history. Engrossed in the narrative during breaks, they found themselves captivated by what would later become a cultural phenomenon. Throughout their career, they revealed a preference for collaborating with certain directors over others. The dynamics and creative synergy with one director, in particular, resonated more deeply, providing insight into the intricate workings of filmmaking. Honorary degrees bestowed upon them highlighted not only their talent, but also their significant contributions to the world of cinema. Their ability to seamlessly transition between roles and genres showcased their versatility, leaving an unmistakable mark on the industry. This unique blend of academic recognition, diverse roles, and personal preferences paints a vivid picture of their journey, underscoring their influence on the history of cinema. Their story serves as a reminder of the power of passion, talent, and dedication in shaping an artistic legacy. In the world of movies, conflicts sometimes arise between actors and directors affecting their work together. 
One such example is the story of two talented men, Alec Guinness and David Lean. Alec Guinness learned how to speak well when he was young, which helped him stand out in the movie industry. In 1946, he got a big role in a movie called An Inspector Calls, which made him famous. But later, when he was working on Dr. Zhivago with David Lean, they didn't get along. They argued a lot, which caused them to stop working together for a while. However, they reunited in 1984 for a movie called A Passage to India, showing that even though they disagreed, they could still come together to make good movies. Their story teaches us that even in tough times, people in the movie business can find ways to work together and create great films. This tale of ups and downs in their relationship shows how complicated working in the movies can be, but also how rewarding it can be when people find common ground. In the world of entertainment, one figure stands out for his incredible acting skills. Back in 1964, he won a prestigious award for his role on Broadway, showing he was more than just a movie star. One of his most memorable performances was as Colonel Nicholson in a famous film. Although the book it was based on didn't have negative feelings towards the British, some people involved in the movie did. His acting career wasn't limited to serious roles. He also made a brief but unforgettable appearance in a popular space-themed movie shot in just a day, proving his efficiency in the film industry. All these achievements reflect the talent and impact he had on the big screen and beyond. In a pivotal scene of the bridge on the River Kwai, he, as Colonel Nicholson, debated with director Sir David Lean over the camera angle. Lean preferred a shot from behind, while he wanted a close-up, desiring to capture every nuance of emotion in Nicholson's expression. Despite the disagreement, he timed his lines with the setting sun, adding a poignant depth to the moment, as if the very sky conspired to underscore the gravity of his character's choices. Before his acting career, he served in the Royal Navy, delivering supplies to Yugoslav partisans during World War II. His experiences during the war lent him a profound understanding of duty and sacrifice qualities he would later infuse into his portrayal of Colonel Nicholson. Despite initial doubts about his performance in the film, Lean showed him a rough cut to ease his concerns. Watching it with his family, they left without a word, the tension of the film hanging in the air like a thick fog. Later, he returned to Lean, declaring Nicholson his finest work, a testament to his dedication to his craft and his ability to transform into characters that linger in the minds of audiences long after the credits roll.